gotta hold on. You gotta hold on. Sans festival thing, the the whole scenario where she spoke of. Uh, working at the Renaissance Festival, and she referred to the court, and she's like, And they all had crabs! <laughs> that was awesome. That was one of my favorite moments, I think. I think whenever she gets excited about books, which is very often. My favorite VP quote would be the one where she was talking about her neighbor who was murdered. Was that it? Yeah. Yeah, that one. <laughs> She was telling us a story about how it was, it was like some house, and then she said the owners found a dead prostitute in the, like, under the bed or something like that. That was hilarious. <laughs> beautiful. That was just beautiful. My favorite VP-ism. The whole thing about the whole, her neighbor and her neighbor going over, and she the neighbor was ridiculously beautiful. And she went over and like gave May Day and then ran away. And she was like, why did you run away after giving away a basket? You don't ding dung ditch and then she got punished and then she was like walking away and she just goes, yeah, she was murdered. <laughs> yeah, she was murdered. And I'm like, oh! <laughs> and everyone there had crabs. Go! Oh, definitely when she told us that the entire royal court had crabs. Um, because, you know, all that implies and it's not exactly school appropriate. She told us a story about when she worked at the, um, when you worked at the uh, the Ren Fest, and <laughs> everyone in the King's Court, well, King's Court had crabs. That was my favorite. And then you just moved on right afterwards. <laughs> I think that's pretty characteristic of her. I guess when she struggles with the computer, it's kind of fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the the IV test and the getting to the top of the moment, taking your clothes off. <laughs> top of the mountain, mountain, mountain. Oh, three P moments. There's so many. I would have to say, just whenever anything happened, like that she thought was beautiful, and she said that was beautiful, that was that was those were always great. Taking your clothes off when you get to the top of the mountain and dancing. I remember when she so many... jumps out of her chair and like obviously knows what she's talking about, but stop and tell your class. Yeah. Really funny moment. She's like, "You're just a cat, and you just have to like go for it and just leap." There's something like super emotional. She'll be like. God, that was just so good. Yes. <laughs> you get to the top of the mountain, you take all your clothes off. Phil's a story about her neighbors being murdered and like something weird. Like I just loved, I loved those moments in the class. We were reading about the moose meat and Eli hunting the moose, and she said something about glorious man meat. Oh, I remember, um, this is so sweet. I remember the story that she told about when her daughter was first born and she had like a little bubble on her lips and then um, Miss Van Pelsen kissed it and it popped and I just thought that was so cute and sweet. Like what a sweet first memory to have of your daughter. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I'll forget that story. and it's been one of the greater classes that I've had and not to mention the easiest IB class I think I'll ever take. <laughs> so, yeah, Mrs. Van Pilsum is the beat. Okay, working with VP has been absolutely incredible. Um, insane is another good word. <laughs> well, VP is one of the best teachers there is. She is so fun and just really with it and just kind of gets what we're all going through and understands. Ms. Van Pilsen, you are an inspiration and a great teacher, and I can't wait to uh, thank you at the Oscars when I'm up on stage. Love, <laughs> Van Pilsen is amazing. I've had her since freshman year, and she immediately made an impact on me as just this, you know, incredibly caring person who's very open-minded and open-hearted, and um, 
you know, she she makes you feel like you don't have to be afraid to try new things, and um, that's that's something that's really encouraging. It's really happy. <laughs> like I get so excited to come to class every day. Oh my gosh! When I think of Vincent and Filsom, I think of Ivy Lit Performance, which is my favorite class, and it's such a joy, and it's so much fun, and. Not only do we have just the most amazing conversations about like literature and life, we we enjoy each other and we joke and we have fun yeah. and like it's the best class I could ever imagine. Uh, Ms. Van Pelsom has known me since freshman year when I was in drama club and a bunch of really awkward, barely pubescent teens decided it would be a super smart idea to tell all the world about our feelings and talk about our bodies. Ms. Van Pelsom is an awesome teacher. I love her. When I first had her sophomore year, I was so inspired and I was like, you're awesome, I have to see you again in another class. It's been a really fun year. Uh, we've done a lot of, I don't know, just wacky things together. And it's been probably my one of my favorite classes ever. She's eccentric. She's crazy, but in a good way, like me. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel really lucky that I had her also freshman year for theater because then, you know, that gave me a chance to find my up on here. Um, I don't know, give me a chance to like have her as a teacher then and now like at the end of my senior year I get to, you know, um, learn with the same teacher and it's like she kind of knows me and she kind of knows, you know, some other people who've been here for a while and done that. So yeah. Not about taking Bible lit, but... This class is better. I couldn't have asked for a better class. VP, you are a fantastically awesome teacher, and I, I really love being in your class. It's awesome. You're awesome. Awesome. Like life, life lessons that she shares, like when she goes off tangent of what we're actually off of the curriculum, she actually shares her, her experiences, and it's really helped me through my experiences as well. Uh -huh. So long, and thanks for all the fish. I just, I cannot believe the level of compassion that she has for her students. She is just so incredibly involved and so incredibly intelligent, and I just, I can't imagine doing what she does every day. I mean, you know, the dedication that she puts into both, you know, her craft, her love of literature, her love of theater, and her love for her students absolutely kills me. Um, well, because Ms. Van Pilsom is like my favorite teacher, and I just wanted to try something new. And I did. I took theater freshman year, and I just really like the whole aspect of it. Uh, you're a great teacher. And keep doing what you're doing. Party hard. <laughs> well, no, I mean I'll, I'll remember the class, obviously. I'll remember Ms. Van Pilsom, and I'll remember our projects. But I mean, one specific thing I can't really pick out because there's nothing like less amazing than the next in this class. <laughs> Thank you for the great year. You've been one of the best teachers I've ever had, and I hope to visit you soon. Kind of bonded into our own little you know, family, our unit. However cheesy that sounds, it's kind of true. And, you know, I will miss this class, and I will miss VP immeasurably. I would want to tell Ms. Van Pilsom how much I'm going to miss her and how she was my favorite teacher, and I feel like she was the only teacher I've ever really had who actually understood high schoolers and was flexible and helpful, so that's you know the best thing she could have done. And I love her so much, and I will miss her. I'm gonna miss you so much. You've been one of the most influential teachers in my entire high school career. Well, I I really loved waking up to IB Literature and Performance, and I am gonna miss all of you guys and Mrs. Van Pelsom uh, when I go off to St. Thomas. So I'll have to I'll have to make a visit sometime. Don't die next year. The year after that is fine, but next year, stay alive. Hopefully, I don't know. Um, eat lots of cake, cake is good. Don't eat too much cake. <laughs> cake is also bad, as well as being good. <laughs> our class is so tight-knit, like I kind of, I'm not in the IB cult, but I feel like we're a little cult of our own. We're a little theatery cult. Have fun, stay alive, do nice things for people make this world a better place. love the little bond that we have. Um, I think because, you know, it is a lot of theater people and we're weird and kind of need other theater people to survive. Like, your ideas are never wrong. 
which yeah. makes you she makes you feel like you can exploring. say whatever you want. So and I love it. Should be. <laughs> this is Van Pilsen. It's my education form of education. System. That's who I love. I love Mrs. Van Pilsen. I love you. She does education, right? It was it was a great relationship we had this year, this class, and the teachers. So. Thank you so much for everything you do for our class. We could never do any of what we've done without you. Um, you are an inspiration, and I hope that I can be as cool as you. <laughs> There's so many good moments, a lot of good intimate moments between Carl and I. How she thinks, and how things are always just beautiful. Like, anything we do is just beautiful, and it's really uplifting and helps, builds us up with our self-esteem and stuff when we're performing or reciting a poem, especially in class and stuff. You guys are awesome. I had a fun year with you all. Yeah. Carl, I love you. Just thank you for being there to take it then. Stay golden, pony boy. I don't know, I had a wonderful year and um, you're an amazing teacher. I don't, I don't have words to describe you because you're that awesome. Um, and it's really been a pleasure and it sounds cheesy but it's been an honor to like work with you. The nicest and most understanding teachers I've ever had as well as the most interesting and probably best at her job so big thank you to BP for that. I don't really have all that much advice you know spreading words are always hard <laughs> on the spot. I guess William Shakespeare said it best, all the world's a stage and each of us is a player, so play on VP because you rock at it. <laughs>